Yes, hi everyone. So welcome to Sai Medha. So myself, I am Dr. I L J Bhakta Singh. So here I am with you to discuss about electrical materials. Yes, uh, so till this 2023, I did not observe the syllabus in any Genco, Transco, AE uh, examinations, but this uh, Telangana government recently, they introduced this concept for the TS Genco, TSE Genco. So here, uh, we can expect 5 marks, that is 4 to 5 marks. And here we have the various concepts are there. But generally we can expect only basics. Don't worry. So don't feel. So don't bother. So yedo vastundi, yalano jarutundi, nena dhrayagalana, rayalena, ane bhayamu yemi vaddu. So maximum 4 to 5 bits vastai. Adhikuda, so they will ask only from the basics. Basics only they will attempt. So that means, so what is what? If you know what is what, then you can easily attempt the question. Okay, but uh, so we have given entire theory and also we have given some problems, we solved some problems and also we have given some objective bits along with the options and uh, uh, also we have given the, the answer with the proof also. That data we have given in the uh, videos. Just go through all those videos. This will be very, very uh, useful to you. So hence my sincere request is don't bother about the subject. It is very very easy because you know about electrical materials and you know about magnetic materials and somehow you know about insulating materials and mechanical materials too. So but where you have some doubt in the sense, so you have the crystal structures. Yeah, you have crystal structures is there. Yeah, crystal structures. But don't bother about this crystal structure. I will give one table for you. So if you see the table, you can easily so get some idea about that. So but my sincere request is, so you need to uh, see this video and you need to get the no much knowledge about this uh, topics as well as. So now let us we move to this subject. So that is electrical engineering material. So what do you mean by material? So in the electricity, so what are the various materials we have? If you start the network theory, we used to see there are three kinds of materials we have. Oh, those are conductors, semiconductors and insulators. That's it. So conductor in the sense which can easily allow the current and resist uh, insul uh, insulator in the sense which cannot allow the current and semiconductor in the sense which can allow the current partially. So that three things we know. But apart from this, so we are going to fabricate the resistor. We are going to design the motor. We are going to design the transformer. We are going to design the small electronic parts also. Transistor, diodes, etc, etc. Yes, here are all these things. Then how we can design all these things? Which material we can use that one? So that all those things we will see in this class. Okay, so before going to that, so we have the three materials which we know that resistor, inductor, capacitor. So how we can fabricate the resistor? What do you mean by resistor? Which is called the resistor? Yes, there is no superconductor on the earth, but every material offers some amount of resistance. Every material, even our human body, this body is also having the resistor and this board is also having the resistor, this pen is also having the resistor, that fan is also having the resistor. So like that, every material is having the resistance. So then, what is resistance? What is res resistance in the sense, it is the property of the material, so which opposes the flow of current. Which opposes the flow of current? Which opposes the flow of current in the sense, suppose for example, I have the resistor like this. This I can consider as the resistor. And here I have given some voltage. This is V like that. Let me assume this is 12 volts. And let me assume this, this is 2 ohms. Then how much current flowing here? You can easily say that I is equal to V by R. V by R in the sense 12 by 2. This is 6 amperes like that. And even if I consider the same current. 
if i consider the current in this direction if i consider the current in this direction ah uh, then how much current here i can say this is minus 6 amps like this minus 6 amps like this so minus 6 amps in the sense can i take the value of resistance as the negative can i take the value of resistance is negative because in some problems like uh, measuring measurements or uh, instruments like that so we used to find out the value of resistance they may ask the questions like that the shunt is connected for that meter and the series is connected for that meter find out how much value of resistance like that then while you are finding that in some cases you may get the value of resistance as the negative is it possible to have the re negative resistance value and negative inductance value negative capacitance value no never resistance inductance capacitance always must be in between zero to infinity it never be less than zero that means it never be negative if suppose if i say inductor is negative then i can say that is not the passive element that is the active element and similarly capacitance that is not the uh, active element that may be uh, passive element so that may be active element like this similarly but we cannot say resistor is the active element because resistor is energy dissipative element just it can dissipate the energy